Welcome to VM Blog's coverage of VMON 2023 that's taking place in Miami. Uh, today, we have the pleasure of having David Cerf from Grau Data, who's the chief data evangelist. Welcome. Thanks, guys. Great to be here. Maybe you can start by giving our listeners kind of a quick overview of your company. Sure, sure. Well, Grau Data has been around a long time. It's been in two forms. Uh, the original Grau goes back into tape automation. So we were one of the two companies really that led that industry with uh, early big silos and libraries. And that company got acquired a couple of times over and it became part of Quant uh, Quantum, which is still around today. And then uh, Herbert Grau, who is the CEO, um, started Grau Software, which is the current uh, company in its current form. And uh, we've been developing and delivering uh, data protection, data security solutions. And uh, for for the last 20 years uh, worldwide, we, we both have uh, uh, thousands of customers over in Europe and OEM products back with the, you know, classic three letter uh, guys that, you know, embed and, and deploy uh, solutions. And then um, we've just started to expand over last year uh, globally again. And uh, I kind of lead that initiative for Grau in uh, bringing a couple products uh, to market, one of which we're going to talk about today, which is our Blocky product uh, in which we partner with Veeam. And since we're here to talk about uh, uh, Veeam on the event, uh, perhaps from their perspective, what do you think a Veeam on attendee will be most interested to know about your company or your technology? You know, um, the world we live in today, there's one constant besides death and taxes, and that is going to be ransomware, right? We're going to constantly see uh, more sophisticated attacks and uh, more ways that people are going to be able to hack all the kinds of solutions that we have in the market today. And so what it what it constantly reinforces is that, you know, your backup is your last resort. I mean, it's the, it, when all else fails, um, and you, you, you got to have a working back, uh, the backup. And that's really what uh, we bring to the table uh, in partnership with Veeam. Uh, you know, Veeam has some great native solutions um, for uh, hardening a Veeam environment, but they require an additional server and Linux. And most Veeam customers are, are Windows, uh, you know, and exclusively Windows in some cases. And so, um, our solution blocky for Veeam hardens the Windows um, repository to prevent against ransomware. And so we we uh, are a very simple solution that could be added easily to any Veeam environment, whether you're a, you know a small small mom and pop uh, operation all the way to enterprise customers. Uh, we have deployments uh, uh, globally with customers and. Um, and it is it is a really simple way to uh, protect the backup. And the way it works is that um, uh, basically we are added to the Windows server. So again, we run on the existing hardware that they already have. And uh, once once um, Blocky is installed, it will go to uh, it, um, basically will start blocking everything but Veeam processes. So the first thing that you do is you, you'll you create a trusted application list. So think of this like a application firewall, right? It, we're creating a zero trust environment that only the Veeam process can get through. So we have to identify those processes and we can do it one of two ways. Um, either we can run an automated mode where let's say for 24 hours, we kind of watch everything that's hitting that uh, backup server. And then the uh, admin can look and say, okay, these are the ones we want to keep. They're added to the whitelist. Everything else is then uh, blocked and deferred. And then you lock it down. And everything at that point is um, set for the trusted uh, processes. And everything else is blocked that comes in to try to write, delete, or modify a backup. So you can still read. But if you try to modify or change the file, once the block is deployed, everything is at that point uh, protected except um, for the trusted apps. The other way you can do this is you could do it manually. So you could go through and you could set manually. So we we have that automated process or the manual process. So that part's really simple. I mean, the installation setup is just a couple minutes. Um, 
the ability to do the discovery is a period DE set. And at that point, it's operating. Now, in addition to um, the ability to block, we also provide real-time event um, monitoring. So we're watching everything. And if something hits the system that is not supposed to, we're going to provide those alerts and flags. So that could go through uh, you know, SNTP traps or email or whatever. So you get some alerting ability. You're going to get real-time reporting on the list. So there's visibility into the system uh, to help better manage what's going on in that backup environment. And then last is if you want to uh, remove it or uninstall it, you can also easily remove. We're not encrypting or modifying or changing files. So from a from the user perspective, uh, if they change the environment or something, you know, things 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 happen, right? And you want to remove Blocky for some reason, the the data itself is still protected. The way we deploy is leveraging the Windows um, server itself. We have some unique technology uh, that we've developed for over 15 years as Grau that we deploy in some of our other products like our compliant archive product. And we use the Windows uh, mini filter drivers that uh, were developed and we, we use that inside Blocky so we can integrate into the Windows server and harden the Windows server natively. So you can get a, a system that's not just this lockdown and mutable, right? There are ways you can protect your backup by sending copies of the cloud and that cloud copy might be immutable, but you, know, you don't have a lot of flexibility or control and it's not on-prem. So the beautiful thing about Blocky is wherever your, your Veeam backup is, you can deploy Blocky along with those Windows servers and harden those servers to protect them. Now, David, if you had to list a couple of examples of what makes your product uh, Blocky unique, um, and maybe what are some of the key differentiators, what would you say? I know you talked about Windows filters and stuff. Well, I think the first thing that makes it unique is, is the simplicity and the ease of use. Um, there, <clears throat> you, can, you can use the, win, the uh, uh, Veeam native Linux solution. And then as far as I'm aware, there's not another solution in the um, and I'm kind of leaning on Veeam because they, they would know the universe of Veeam products. But uh, according to the, them, I haven't heard that anybody else has got this hardening solution uh, to protect the, the Veeam backup or the Windows repositories. So I think we're unique in the, in the solution stack. Um, there are other ways you can, you can do things like offsite copies and et cetera. But, um, and then you're dependent on the vendor. Like if you backed up in the cloud, you know, now I got a cloud offsite copy and I got to deal with all the cloud and the repatriation on the data. That's a little different than customers that are looking to manage data on premise. And we found that, you know, about half of Veeam users still want copies local, whether, whether they run it remotely in a, you know, managed service setup or on site, they still want those um, repositories, backup repositories local and they're managing them. So in those use cases, um, where it's a Windows environment and they want something simple, we're, we are, I think, the only, the only guys out there that can do this. And we have over 500 customers, uh, you know, that are already embracing the solution. And their comment, you know, is just, they've never had an easier product. That's kind of the, that's the second value prop would be is this just a simplicity for setup deployment. Uh, from start to finish, you can have the whole thing running in less than an hour you know, from download to set up to config. And so you can really turn, you know, uh, this type of data protection on very, very quickly. And then it's just easy to manage. It's a set and forget. Now, thinking about how your product, you know, fits and works within this, uh, the Veeam ecosystem, can you talk a little bit more about how that partnership with, uh, between your company and Veeam, what that looks like? Um, so Veeam, Veeam is a, a fantastic partner. They support you know, third-party partners like, like uh, Ground Data. And uh, we meet in the channel. We have a lot of partners that resell our solutions. Um, and um, you know, we provide pretty much everything on our website as well. So you can do free 30-day uh, uh, trials and download it. And uh, because the product is, is simple, we're not encrypting any files, we find that Users like that type of testing. You know, it's kind of hard to test something that's got a lot of integration and deep things you have to do. But this is a download, point it at uh, at the backup, and uh, turn it on, and then it's blocking. If you want to remove it, you can easily uninstall. So that makes it very simple. But uh, customers have just had a great user experience, and partners 
Um, you know, you, if you if you need a partner somewhere in the world, we've got a network and we can hook you up with. And for people that are going to be attending the event, uh, maybe you can tell us a little bit about what they can expect to see at your booth this year. Yeah, so we're excited. You know, we're, we're excited to be in Miami. Um, we will be doing a, a live demo on the products. We'll have a setup backup environment where users could stop, uh, customers could stop by, um, see the, uh, the user interface in action. It's a pretty simple um, UI from the perspective of the selection of the whitelisting and the alerting reporting. So we'll have some set up to where we'll show what it looks like to have uh, someone try to hack into the system and how the blocking and the alerting work. So they'll be able to see it. Again, it's a very simple product. So it's a pretty quick, um, a pretty quick demo. What we're also doing is we have a raffle. So anybody can come by and register and we'll be giving away some great gifts and items for uh, for those that come by. Um, I, I also think we have a lot of virtual attendees at the event. So not everyone's going to be at the booth. So we can set up a live demo at any time, but you can register for the raffle without having to be at the event. So we uh, highly recommend you hit the website. Well, I think it goes live the day of uh, the raffle go live the day of the uh, live event. And so you can stop in and register and, uh, and each day we're doing um, a prize. So you can keep coming back and registering for the next day, but one registration per day. So, uh, so people should come by and meet us and check out the product. Now, the landscape that we live in and work in is is constantly changing, but uh, what are some of the big challenges that uh, that you believe VMON attendees are facing in 2023 and maybe heading into 2024? And then how does your company help solve any of those challenges? You know, I, there's, I don't think the conversation anymore is about, it, will you be hacked? It's when. And I, I think Veeam's done a really great job with their annual report. Everyone should check it out. I mean, they've got some fantastic data. And what's beautiful about the Veeam reports is it's not just from Veeam users. They they actually interview uh, a broad audience, um, many non-customers. But what it's showing is the real trending around ransomware. It's just not stopping. Um, what it's getting is it's more sophisticated. And, um, and so what really caught me by surprise this year when they announced it was how many companies are hacked more than once. And that it's a staggering number. I, I mean, it's not like it's more than 50% of companies have had more than one hack and multiple times. And, and so this isn't gonna change there. I mean, we've, we discovered this, you know, you write, make a lock and somebody can break a lock. I mean, that's just what, you know, the, these type of protection solutions like network security and perimeter security and all these other things that are doing, you're not gonna stop it. So the best options are having a secure copy of your backup that if they hack you or something, you know, it doesn't even have to be that, um, you know, a ransomware hack. It can be just something has happened and you need a secure, protected, hardened server to make sure that you can get that copy back because that's the whole purpose of the backup. And I think that we're finding that that is becoming more and more critical is that ability to recover and ensure. The other trending that we're seeing is some, you know, interesting things around air gap and um, the continued, you know, that as much as we want to have, um, you know, real time type behaviors and technology, you sort of need some air gap protection because otherwise lots of things could be at risk. So we're starting to see trending come back in around tape technology still, um, exp, you know, we're seeing repatriation of data out of the cloud. The, you know, this is where I think we've kind of maybe hit price curves um, that are flattening around uh, cloud and the way the cloud economics looked and it looked very promising, you know, as everything was going to go up in the cloud, but we're kind of waking up to the fact that, you know, it's just another way of managing it. Do I manage it myself? Do I hand it out and have other management? And their cost benefits against these things. And so we're seeing, you know, as these data sets get really, um, uh, continue to grow and get larger, um, bringing data back home or keeping large percentages of data local so I can ensure faster recovery. Because even though I may have something up in the cloud, uh, you get that data back when you need it. it, could take you some time, right? It's not an infinitely large pipe. And so I think the trendings are more hacks, you know, tech, looking at things that create air gap capabilities, you know, a lot of companies re-looking at tape and then repatriation of data back home. 
Right. And for people that might not be at the event or want to take those next steps to learn more about Blocky and your offerings, uh, where would you direct them to go? So we have a dedicated site, um, Blocky for Veeam. So B L O C K Y F O R, you know, Veeam.com. And, um, and, and you can visit the site. Um, there's a great interview with Dave Russell who's a VP of strategy at Veeam right on the, the site. And uh, Dave shares some kind words about uh, how he sees uh, blocky fitting with Veeam. You can do a free uh, download right off the site. So uh, sign up, you know, download it, test it out yourself. Um, you can always come to growdata.com and grow is G-R-A-U data.com. And you can see our other products and other things that we uh, offer as well uh, and learn more about Grow. Well, great. Well, thanks for taking the time to speak with VM Blog today. Appreciate having me on the show and look forward to seeing you guys in Miami. <laughs>